Hello everyone and welcome to the first street date preview of 2022 here in the children's department at Givens Books. Welcome back. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday. We haven't been here for a couple weeks but we are back with a stack of some really wonderful books including a couple of picture books that I have been waiting for them to come out to share with you. Um, I'm going to start right off with one of my favorites, Milk and Juice, A Recycling Romance. When I got to read uh, the advanced copy of this one that the publisher sent to the store, oh my goodness, I was just in love with it. It is Romeo and Juliet for plastics. So adorable. The two characters of the milk jug and the juice jug are in love and separated by fate and go through many journeys before they find their way back to each other in the form of a recycled plastic park bench. Ah, it is just the most perfect, adorable story and a great way to talk to your kids about recycling. Um, in, in the back, it includes a little informative section about the impact on our environment um, of harmful plastics being put in landfills and things like that. So cute story and a great way to talk about an important topic with your little ones. Plus the illustrations are super adorable too. Love that one. All right, here's another one that I've been really excited to share with you guys waiting for it to come out, The Treasure Box. This is a beautiful story about a young girl and her grandfather who are both collectors. If you have little kids in your life, you know that they love to collect things. Everywhere they go, they pick up rocks, they pick up sticks and interesting fun things that they find on the ground. And this is a story of a little girl and her grandfather bonding over that ritual. And then her grandfather passes away and the book takes a little bit of a turn into talking about a more difficult subject of loss and how we remember the people that we love and that have an impact on our life. So this is gonna go in our grief and loss section in the nonfiction part of the children's department. Come take a look and check it out. It's another one of those ones that can start, be a great conversation starter with your little ones. And Wombat Underground. So this book is full of Australian wildlife, which I remember being obsessed with as a child wombats are adorable and a fun name to say. The illustrations are cute and it's the story of what happens in the animal world when there are wildfires. Now wildfires have been in our news a lot recently and again another um, picture book that can um, be a way to have a conversation with your kid about a difficult topic. Um, and the cute uh, characters in this story are all going to help each other survive this difficult circumstance that they're in. So another book about cooperation. Love that one too. Okay, um, Rick Riordan's City of the Plague God is out in paperback now. So if you've been waiting to get a paperback copy, they're in the store now. Okay, the Indie Next picks for January and February are out and their number one pick in the children's department is a new Jason Reynolds graphic novel called Ain't Burned All the Bright. It is gorgeous and you know Jason Reynolds never disappoints. I'm just gonna show you a couple of these pages. Look at the the high contrast dramatic imagery in here and it is really a gripping read um, and it's been just acclaimed far and wide so come take a look at that one as well. Uh, we'll have it up front for you. Okay, and we have some new young adult in the store this week. It's been a little while since we had new young adult on our shelves. I've got some fun ones to share with you. We got two fantasies, uh, two fantasy novels. Cold the Night, Fast the Wolves by Meg Long is a fantasy novel set in a, on a frigid planet. And the basic storyline sounds like the Iditarod, Iditarod dog race set in a fantasy world. Um, so this one sounds like a really good read. It's got a strong female lead character and a lot of outdoor active adventure. And the sequel to The Ravens, Cass Morgan's new book, The Monarchs. <laughs> Sorority Girls Fiction Meets Fantasy, a really interesting mix, very fascinating blend of two genres. And this one really intrigued me, first of all, because of the cover, because you guys know how I love a good cover. The beautiful artwork on the front of this book, The Storyteller by Katherine Williams. This takes the familiar storyline of a young girl finding out the truth, finding out the truth about her ancestors. But the truth about her ancestors may turn out to be that her grandmother is the long thought dead Anastasia Romanov. 
the princess the lost princess of russia so um this one sounds like a lot of fun as well sort of an alternative history type of deal going on and the beautiful artwork on the cover is definitely one for your shelves so in case any of you are new joining us this year for the first time i'm gonna do a quick little tour of where you can find these books when you come into the store looking for them so let's just grab them here and follow me and i'll show you where they are So right here at this first uh, triangle shaped bookcase nearest the counter is where all of our brand new YA and middle grade readers spend some time before they get shelved in the regular section. And if you come with me this way on this first end cap right here, we, you'll find all of our newest featured on Instagram picture books and elementary readers right here at the end cap right beside our young adult section. So that can help you find it within the store. All right. Thanks so much for listening and we'll see you guys next week.